Hi my love, so today I've got a mucho requested review and I know this is a little bit past due on this Dollar Tree dry shampoo aka absolute crap aka a complete and utter freaking beyond fail so much so that y'all are probably gonna fall over. I reported this to the FDA. I'm not even kidding. You're probably thinking, Amanda, it's a freaking $1 can of dry shampoo. Yes, that is precisely my point. And the reason why I even decided to film this review is because A, because I love you guys. B, because I watched two review videos on YouTube about this. I read one blog post review. There are people that commented on my haul video, for example, say, yeah, it works for me and I like it. Most of you do not like it. And one of the main reasons why is the smell. This is supposedly comparable to Dove's hair therapy, uh, dry shampoo, which the back says shake can well before use. I had to shake this for literally about 60 seconds if not a few more that is a long time can you imagine doing this like this is what 10 seconds imagine doing that for 60 seconds. get it to freaking work no the size is awkward i saw someone actually compare or divide out the ounces by price comparable to dove well, dove is a full size can of dry shampoo first of all um second of all no i do not think that this is a good idea to put anywhere except into the garbage this to me is a nice portable size just to compare the two here now i have blonde hair it's very thick it's very coarse i go about three days between washes sometimes four i know a lot of different ways tips and tricks for using things other than dry shampoo i'm not saying i'm an expert or anything but i've tried all kinds ever since i was about 12 or 13 years old really high end all the way down to this crap and something says like this one for example no visible residue that doesn't mean like when you directly spray it in your hair but even as a blonde i see residue in my hair whenever i spray dry shampoo into my hair no matter what kind it is i saw it when i sprayed this one in my hair one of my subscribers sent this to me and this one is specifically for gray blonde bleach or highlighted hair this even says invisible and it's for blondes and i still saw residue you know why because that's normal with dry shampoo because you're supposed to massage it into your roots and then you're supposed to brush it out here are some some things to remember about dry shampoo it's only supposed to absorb oil and it does not clean dirt or grime or whatever from your hair but here's the thing you guys it's supposed to mask your hair with a pretty or a fresh scent this smells it's indescribable how bad this smells i had someone we'll insert the comment here um they said it best on that on my haul video of how they described how this smelled the blog review i read on this went as far as to actually compare these ingredients side by side in a screenshot but here's the thing if you're going to review a product maybe know your ingredients a little bit better silica is found in pretty much all dry shampoo i've got one two three four five sitting here beside me it's in every one of these dry shampoos range all the way from around two dollars up to i think 45. there are no other added benefits or moisturizing agents in this dry shampoo look at what's last on here fragrance fragrance you smell is chemical the main reason i reported this was this right here this is not how this is supposed to be listed heard the word alcohol alone means ethanol there is a certain concentration of alcohol that's supposed to be used and also it's supposed to be specifically labeled in that manner this is not they did get by the law on the law with this i don't understand how they got by with this usually dry shampoos on the warning it'll tell you until it dries not to go anywhere near an open flame or don't go in, near a hot surface 
anything. It says anything like that. Maybe common sense, but at the same time, this stuff is that bad. Like, I reported it to two separate organizations. It may seem silly, I know, to some that I am saying all the things that I'm saying, but I really am passionate about what I do here on YouTube, and I'm not going to sugarcoat something. It's really uh, disheartening when someone goes as far as to not only say, hey, go ahead and try this, it's worth it for a dollar. Well, if you can get over the smell, you know, yeah, it's okay. Or maybe you're using it wrong or justifying the dollar that they spent on this. No, like that's just not okay with me. It's just not okay. So with all that said, no, this is not worth my dollar. And even if I could stand the smell, I would have salvaged this by using it on my ends for some texture. I don't think it would have even worked for that. Would I recommend this? No. Do I think it would be worth your dollar to try? My personal opinion, no, I do not. Um, let me end the video on a very positive note. I'll tell you the pros about this. There is a pink lid and there are minimal grammatical errors. So. I hope that this was somewhat helpful. I always say this, my opinion is not the be all end all. Please leave your comments down below letting me know your experience with this product. If it works for you, if it didn't work for you, what you think. If you like it, I'm not going to argue back with you. Let's say I did love this, I'm not going to comment back to people and say, well, maybe you're using it wrong or um, maybe you got a bad can if they disagree with me. That to me is not helpful to anyone. So yeah, leave your comments down below. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time.